All right, welcome back to the show. Grill Sergeant here. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Today, I am excited. I mean, very, very excited. Today is the first time I will be grilling Wagyu ribeye. What makes Wagyu so unique is there are strict guidelines for beef to qualify as Wagyu. Young cattle are fed milk by hand. They grow up grazing on an open pasture. They're given warm jackets during the winter and they're brushed and massaged daily to stimulate blood, blood flow. <laughs> God. All this adds up to make a cut of meat that is so tender and fat marbled that the meat literally just melts in your mouth. Hit that thumbs up button if you're a fan of Wagyu as well. All right, I'm excited. Let's fire up the grill and let's start the show. I, I, I don't know why I'm doing this. All right, now that we got the charcoal chimney fired up, whiskey time. Today's whiskey is from Beckenridge in Colorado and they were founded in 2008. This whiskey is light body with warm texture and has a long sweet oak vanilla finish. Cheers. Today we're gonna try something different. Now, normally when I cook meat, I do a reverse sear, which is we're cooking indirectly, and then right when it almost comes up to temperature, we then flash cook it over the hot coals. Today we're gonna be doing something different. Ba -ba -da -ba! Cooking on a Himalayan salt block. So the trick to cooking on one of these Himalayan salt blocks is you have to raise the temperature up very slowly. If you raise the temperature too fast, it will either crack or explode the salt block. That would suck. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fill charcoal into two charcoal baskets on either side of the Weber, and then we're gonna move them every 15 minutes, slowly by slowly, until they're directly underneath the salt block. Once the salt block is up to temperature, it should come in at around 450 to 500 degrees, and that's when we'll put the steak on and cook it. I mean, this thing is gonna take so long to heat up, I might need more whiskey. Just kidding, drink responsibly, friends. So I'm gonna set my Weber alarm for 15 minutes. And so then in 15 minutes, what we're gonna do is then move these charcoal baskets slowly more and more underneath. Cover it up. So it's been 15 minutes. Now let's move those baskets a little bit closer underneath this. Okay, the salt block is coming in at around 270 degrees. So right now the salt block is coming in at around 360. All right, we're 30 minutes in to heating up the salt plate. Now let's prep the Wagyu. In seasoning the Wagyu, we really want the meat to speak for itself. Just a little bit sea salt, pepper, little oil. I mean, that just looks like, you know, magazine quality right there. Who's hungry? We are coming in right in the ballpark of around 500 degrees. So let's throw that Wagyu on. All right, here we go. So we're gonna leave that on for about four minutes and then we're gonna flip it and do another four minutes. It's time to flip that. Got about a minute left to go. The temperature reading right now. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to let it rest for about eight minutes. That's gonna bring it up to a perfect medium rare. And then we're gonna cut into it and enjoy. All right, now that we're done letting it rest, let's cut into this Wagyu. Oh man, perfectly medium rare. So without further ado, 
Let's try a piece. <laughs> How do you describe Wagyu? The, it's, it's tender, buttery, it does melt in your mouth. It, it's very hard to describe. This, this ribeye is amazing. You know what? I'm gonna get my son in here and let's see what he thinks. Okay, Ezra. All right, this is Grill Sergeant. Thank you for watching today. If you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button to see yep. all our videos. And hit that like button. And hit the like button. All and right, this is Grill Sergeant. See you next button. time. Hit the yellow. There's no such thing as a yellow button. <laughs> all right, who's hungry? I am. Hey. Oh.